I'm dead. Oh, squad. I'm dead. Oh, squad. I'm dead. We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. Sebastian Janikowski ready to get us started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This fielded at the two. And he'll running right through it. And he'll get it up to about the 20. Six yard line just across the 25. The play clock's running down. And with the play clock running out, Jack Del Rio's going to take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Throwing on first down. Cunningham. Throw left side complete to Ingram. A very good move, but for a relatively modest gain out near the 32. A gain of six there on first. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. First and ten, Cunningham escaping the pressure right. And he's got some space here. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Second down, just one yard to go. Here we go. Now Davis. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Let's go! 
first down. Cunningham. This will be caught by Brown. He got 29 yards that time. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that, you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Now he's forced out right. That is caught inside the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that could be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that field shrink. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Raiders drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And he's got it up and through. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. first down and it'll leave them with a second and two if these kinds of lanes are available you have to feel like he's gonna have a pretty big game on the ground yeah you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step and that's a big pickup right there on first down out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. to the air. Keenum on second down. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Andre Howe. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. This is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. And he motions the wide receiver. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going deep for Brown. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. How about this offense? Already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7 nothing lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try pressure advantage. 
And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now Tavon Austin. He's going to go. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Tavon Austin, 67 yards. And the Raiders add on to their lead. And it's good to make it 14-0. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. As we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And they're going to get the football just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, uh, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. Throwing to start the drive. Cunningham. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. On the carry, it's Davis. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders add six to their lead. And he'll bang that one through. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time... And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Ed Tutal Jones in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Here we go. To throw on second down is Keenum. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. It'll be a gain of nine, and that's going to lead to a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Here's Keenum. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Right, here we go. Keenum on first down. Steps away to his left. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be down deep into Oakland territory. It's a big play that time for the Packers. 52 yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And he'll give it here to his running back. 
And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. Here we go now. Now Keenum throwing on second. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. running back and he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown a great play there a three yard touchdown run and the Packers make some inroads here on that deficit it's up it's good and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7 to kick is Janikowski. This fielded at the two. <laughs> A big hit. Knocked down sideways at the 24-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Walker with a grab, left side. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find go. a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays to target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down right there at the 43. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Looking to throw on second down. Cunningham. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It'll be a three-yard gain, and just like that, it's third down. Slot man moves right. To throw on third down, Cunningham. Flush to his right. He's going to find his man. That's Tavon Austin. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that'll push the lead up to 17. So they get the three, increase their lead to close out the half. Excellent way to end a drive, go into the locker room with a little bit of extra momentum after adding three to their total. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. 
And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Throwing his Keenum on third down. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. They go play action here on first down. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now Keenum. Polluting the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And to Tom Jones. In there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. This fielded at the two. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Well, still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They go again with Davis. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. To throw on second down. Cunningham flushed out right. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. 
on the run, had to get on his horse, still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And the offense will be looking to get at least some of this yardage back here at second and 12. They'll run with Davis. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. And now the Packers going to take another timeout. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. Here we go. Back to throw. Cunningham. A dump off for Davis. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So put another three on the board. And all things considered, a good opening drive here to begin the third quarter. It sure was. I think as a head coach, you're happy to come out and put a little drive together, take the three points, and build on your lead. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard, and it's second down. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Hurry up, here we go. Here's Keenum now on second down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now Keenum. Tries for Rice, intercepted. Picked off by Brad McDougal. And he'll return this one.